Welcome back to another episode of the Ohio Tech Report. We have as our special guest co-host again this week, Scott Allen. Scott, welcome. Thanks for joining us again. Thank you, sir. It's good to be back. Thank you for having me back. I was wondering after that last performance. <laughs> I mean, that, that's when you know you did well, is that you get invited <laughs> back for the second week. So you're on a roll. You're on a roll. But we'll, we'll, we'll dive in. And today, Scott, we are talking three really fun stories. The first one is more really big venture capital startup raises for startup companies in the state of Ohio. Second one is an interesting fintech proposal coming out of the Ohio State House that would kind of set up this interesting thing to maybe attract more fintech work here and startups in the state. And then a third one is about Cincinnati's role in kind of futuristic Air Force innovations, which is really cool and ties into a couple other parts of the state that's doing interesting work. But before we dive in, we want to thank our sponsor, Zendesk. And so Zendesk, which is sponsoring the Ohio Tech Report, was built upon a simple idea, make customer service software that's easy to use and accessible to any of you, everyone. Zendesk, Zendesk's customer service and engagement products are powerful and flexible and scale to meet the needs of any business. They serve businesses across hundreds of industries with more than 145,000 paid customers, accounts offering service and support in more than 30 languages. They're headquartered in San Francisco, but doing work globally. And you can learn more at Zendesk.com. And as they say, the best customer experiences are built with Zendesk. So Scott, are you ready to dive in? I am. William Shatner went into space yesterday. I'm good. <laughs> I'm ready. Absolutely. So we're going to start now. First story about the VC raises and what's happening with more. And so recently, a big, big, big one in Cincinnati in the southwestern Ohio part of the state is that a Cincinnati biopharma startup, they landed a $143 million round. And so this company, Syncor Pharma, a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company that develops treatments for cardio renal diseases announced the funding this past week and it's a series b scott you know we live in such an incredible time right now chris the the innovations happening literally on every front but uh, i'm just absolutely so excited about specifically healthcare some of what we're going to see over the course of our lifetime what our children will see or i should say what my children will see over the course of my lifetime i mean their lifetime it's going to be incredible it's just so exciting all of that space of what's happening, right? Yeah, it, it absolutely is. And it's it's so cool to see this biotech and med tech space really taking off. And there's been a bunch of other really big races. But as we think of all these assets that Ohio has, you're in Cleveland. You have the Cleveland Clinic, University Hospitals, Metro Health, Case Western, Columbus. We have Ohio State. Down in Cincinnati, UC Children's or Ch yeah. Cincinnati Children's, UC Medical Center, it's it, stuff's only growing and it's yes. really fascinating. It is. It is. And it's incredible work that they do. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's it's mission driven work. Yeah. A hundred percent. Increase our health span for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. So we'll dive into our second story. And this is coming out of the Ohio State House. A state senator, Senator Steve Wilson, also from Cincinnati, the Cincinnati area, but not related to the first story. He proposed some legislation that would create a sandbox for Ohio's financial technology industry. So this would create what they call a fintech regulatory sandbox that would help financial tech businesses kind of easier to navigate and kind of test out some of the innovations. This type of work is happening in different states and different parts of the country. And it's one way that the public sector can kind of help attract some of the innovations, some of these tech companies. Certainly a long way to go for this, and this is just the proposal. So. These types of things get debated all the time, but it is interesting to see elected officials and this senator, again, Steve Wilson is his name, actually comes from a financial services background. He's worked mm. at banks, lead banks. Um, so it's kind of cool to see the public sector thinking about some of these things that's happening, you know, kind of in the fintech space. Anything, anything we can do to make Ohio uh, a tech friendly atmosphere to start up, to scale up. I'm I'm for. I think that's important. I think that's the future. And anything we can do, I'm in that conversation for sure. I love yeah. it. I absolutely and, love it. And Scott, as you and I have talked, like talking about healthcare and some of the pillars that's going on, but we have all these financial institutions. Yeah. So 
Key Bank and Huntington and Fifth Third and all these that are happening across the state. And so, you know, another thing that Ohio is good at, we have this really strong financial services industry. We've seen it within SureTech, certainly in Columbus, which kind of then segues into FinTech. And so yeah. it's kind of fun to see these things really starting to take hold. Yes, exactly. And the third story, we have a strong foothold as well, right? <laughs> we uh, let's look at tech. Let's well, look at jets and propulsion and NASA and all that good stuff. Yeah. And and you segued like you've been doing this for years. But uh, <laughs> this story is about GE Aviation. So General Electric, which obviously kind of everyone knows, but GE Aviation has a really big foothold in the southwestern Ohio part of the state. They have a big facility and GE Aviation, you know, component of GE, They've been doing a ton of really secret innovations for the Air Force for a number of years. We're going to link this story in the comments, so you should definitely check it out. But, Scott, I think it's fascinating because what's happening at GE Aviation and then a little bit north, not necessarily related, although in the same sphere, is Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. And up yeah. by you is NASA Glenn. Yeah. Again, healthcare. those three large communities, insurance, fintech, uh, finance, it's it's really again i said this last week i'm going to keep saying it until you're tired of hearing me say it i love the fact that you're bringing all of these conversations under one roof because we have so much we have so much to offer in this state and bundling that and packaging that really makes it very very ideal for like we discussed last week google amazon facebook it's just a great place to be on a number of different dimensions right yeah. And we talk, you know, a lot about startups and our first one was about a bit, really big raise. Yeah. But it, I think it's these institutions that and the innovation and the tech and how we can leverage these really big things that we do have that, you know, Wright Patterson Air Force Base, for instance, or NASA, those things don't pop up overnight. Those have been <laughs> no. decades in the making. They employ literally thousands of Ohioans, massive physical facilities, too. And, you know, that that stuff you just can't recreate. And it's awesome to see kind of the innovations and the role that tech plays in our existing institutions and organizations and businesses. Yes. If we are, if we are friendly for startups, friendly for scale ups, yeah. friendly for some of these, like you said, institutions that have been here for decades, in some cases uh, more than a century, uh, I think it's a winning combination. It's, yeah. it's a definitely a starting place for us to be thinking about that whole spectrum of tech and of course, a number of different sectors of tech. Yeah. But again, we live in a very exciting time. I mean, we just yeah. do. It's really, really cool. Yeah. Ohio has an incredible opportunity. Yeah. So this wraps up this week. Scott, thank you so much for joining. Again, we yeah. appreciate our presenting sponsor, Zendesk, for helping make this, these conversations possible. But Scott, I'll leave final parting comments for you. <laughs> no pressure. You know, no pressure at all. <laughs> Everybody, be well take care. And uh, Ohio, it's a great place to be. Thank you for doing your part in building up all of the opportunities that we have in this great state. That's awesome. Have a great weekend, everybody. Yes. See ya.